5 Things Not To Do In Japan 1. Pouring soy sauce directly onto rice is seen as a faux pas in Japan. Rice is considered a staple and has its own delicate flavor, and adding soy sauce can be perceived as disrespectful to the chef who prepared the rice. Instead, it's more customary to appreciate the natural flavor of the rice and enjoy side dishes separately. Soy sauce is typically used for dipping, not for flavoring rice directly. 2. In Japan, particularly on trains and buses, maintaining a quiet and respectful atmosphere is highly valued. Speaking loudly on public transport is often frowned upon as it can disrupt others. Japanese trains are known for their punctuality and quietness, and people generally use this time for relaxation or to catch up on some rest. Observing this quietude helps maintain a serene environment for everyone's benefit. 3. Before entering a traditional Japanese bath, onsen, it's customary to clean yourself thoroughly at a showering area provided nearby. Entering the communal bath without washing is considered unhygienic and disrespectful to others sharing the bath. This practice stems from the cultural value placed on cleanliness and communal harmony in shared spaces. 4. Eating or drinking while walking in public spaces is not commonly practiced in Japan. Eating is seen as an activity that deserves full attention and respect for the food being consumed. When you sit down to eat, it's a moment to appreciate the flavors, textures, and presentation of the dish. Walking while eating can detract from this experience and may be considered rude or inconsiderate. 5. When receiving a gift in Japan, it's customary not to open it immediately in front of the giver. Doing so might cause the giver embarrassment if the gift is inadequate. Instead, express gratitude and open the gift later in private. For more fun, random facts about countries all over our world, please give a like and subscribe.